Graduates and guests, our ceremony will begin in five minutes. Please take your seats at this time. Family and friends, please welcome our graduates as they begin their procession into the stadium by college department. Each graduate will have the opportunity to be featured on the stadium jumbotron.
graduates and guests. Joining us today to recognize and honor our history-making graduating class of 2022 are distinguished guests and leaders from our college and university. Dan O'Connor, Associate Dean. Deborah Thien, Associate Dean. David Wallace, Dean. Kurt Brower, President, CSULB Alumni Council. Jesus Gonzalez, President of Associated Students. Neil Holtgren, Chair, Academic Senate. Chris Fowler, Chief of Staff. Andy Fee, Director of Athletics. Min Yao, Vice President, Information Technology. Jeff Cook, Interim Vice President, University Relations and Development. Scott Appel, Vice President, Administration and Finance. Beth Lesson, Vice President, Student Affairs. Karen Sism Gunn, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. President Jane Close Connolly. Larry L. Adamson, California State University Trustee. In 2018, the university adopted a new alma mater with lyrics by Christian Valdez and music by Kyle Gabriel, composed when both were students in the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. To perform it for you today, please welcome Beach alumna Natalie Gonzalez. Please stand if you are able as we play the alma mater. And now, please welcome the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, 
David Wallace. President Conley, honored guests, members of the faculty and staff, relatives and friends of the graduates, and class of 2022. As Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, I welcome you to the 72nd Annual Commencement Celebration of the California State University Long Beach. Graduates, this is one of the most important days of your life, for it signifies your well-deserved achievements and opens the door to a new future, a new adventure. As we begin our commencement ceremony today, we acknowledge the spiritual connection of the Tongva Gabrieleno and the Ahashimen Wayeno nations, the original stewards and traditional caretakers of this land. We thank them for protecting the place where we meet today. Our university is known as Cal State Long Beach, CSULB, Long Beach State, The Beach, and Cal State Pavanga. Pavanga is often translated the gathering place. As we gather today, we acknowledge that we are part of a continuum of gatherings at sacred places of reflection, learning, and celebration. Our particular reason for gathering today is to celebrate each of you, our graduating students, because you have earned your degrees in the departments of the College of Liberal Arts. You have earned your degree in the liberal arts tradition that values critical thinking, diverse perspectives, clear oral and written communication, and strong research skills so important in the humanities and social sciences. We have trained you well, and we welcome you as the new ambassadors of the liberal arts education. Now, as befits the gravity of this, of this occasion, I invite all the graduates to take out their cell phones and pose for your official graduation selfies. Would all the graduates please stand? I'm gonna take the first one. It's gonna be a panorama. So as I work my way around to you, Please, let us hear you. Ready? One, two, three, go. Now let's do your close up. Grab a friend, strike your best pose, get a still shot for Facebook or Instagram, a snap for Snapchat, or do whatever it is that you do on TikTok. <laughs> when you have your picture, let's post them. Let's blow up Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Hashtag C-S-U-L-B-C-L-A because this is the day that you graduate from the California State University, Long Beach. You may be seated. We call the pictures you just took selfies, and that's appropriate for today because this is a day to celebrate your achievements. However, none of you got here today on your own. You all had support from family and friends and teachers. So now I would like to invite all of the family and friends who are here to support you today to stand up so we can thank you for how you have supported today's graduates. <laughs> graduates, by the end of this day, I challenge you to use your selfie that you took to thank someone who helped you to get here today. 
post it, tweet it, snap it, print it out old school and put it in a card to your favorite auntie who couldn't be here, but share this day. Share your achievement with someone who helped you get here. And now that you all have your cell phones out, I invite you to turn them off and leave them off for the rest of the ceremony. <laughs> Graduates, as you know, none of you would be here today without the expertise and dedication of the faculty of the College of Liberal Arts. I ask all the faculty who are here today to stand, and I invite the graduates, friends, and families to join me in thanking the faculty for their hard work, for their many, many hours on Zoom, and their dedication to the success of all of our students. And now I am pleased to share with you our university video for all the families who are in attendance today. Our graduates know what a special and transformative place CSULB is. And this video captures the spirit of determination, creativity, possibility, and service that permeate the beach and have inspired the dreams of our graduates for over 70 years. This is celebrating CSULB more than a university. It is my privilege today to introduce our president, Dr. Jane Close Conley. She is author, editor, or co-author of 21 books. She's published over 100 articles, book chapters, and research reports. Clearly, she's a very serious scholar. However, believe it or not, her enviable scholarly record is not what impresses me most about her. From the moment she stepped on campus eight years ago, she has engaged our campus and our community with seemingly boundless energy. She meets regularly with community members, lobbies for us in Sacramento, meets with student leaders, and talks with faculty about their research. It is my honor to introduce the seventh president of the California State University Long Beach, Dr. Jane Close Conley. Thank you, Dean Wallace. Graduates, family, friends, loved ones, faculty, staff, university leadership, Trustee Adamson, thank you so much for being here. When I start thinking about what to say at commencement every year, the choices are endless because our campus is the source of countless stories. This year, I've decided to talk about how all of you students, faculty, and staff have been so noteworthy since 2018. 
with four or more years at the beach, many of you started in an analog world in which only about 7% of our classes were taught remotely. And you've lived through a period when only about 4% of our classes were taught in person. What a turnaround. But yet you are here because of your resilience and supportive faculty and staff, family and friends. You have, may have been in the first wave to come back to campus at about 40% last fall, or this spring when we were about 76% in person. You've seen it all. Thank you for sticking it out. I can only imagine that there were times when you thought about throwing it all away because your internet didn't work or, the, or that remote classes simply did not engage or that not coming to classes opened up other possibilities for you. Thank you again for not leaving. Sticking with us has also allowed you to experience, in addition to pandemic-related events, some pretty amazing College of Liberal Arts Beach Facts since 2018. For example, the CLA Internships Program is recruiting, training, and fostering partnerships with 246 local regional agency partners and hosting 900 CLA interns annually. And over 1,500 students have participated in the college's transfer learning communities since that program was launched in 2018. Dr. Shelley Erickson, professor of human development and sociology, secured over $800,000 in grants from the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services since 2015 to provide comprehensive support services to sexual assault survivors and gender violence prevention education at CSULB. Teams of students from the Department of Journalism and Public Relations, are you here? You're here, right? Yeah. Earned top honors in the Bateman National Championship for Public Relations. And this year, a pair of students won the National Moot Court Championship, Political Science, sponsored by the po Department of Political Science. This is the second time you've been national champions in Moot Court. First time freshmen, four year and two year transfer graduation rates exceed the university averages by 10% in both categories. A recent graduate, Asia Garner, became the communications coordinator for none other than First Lady Jill Biden. The Daily 49er staff won won the National Pacemaker Award from the Associated Collegiate Press in October 2020. Hey, not bad, and I could go on and on. While you've been doing all that, the rest of the university has done exceptionally well too. For those sports fans, and maybe actual players, two men's volleyball national championships in 2018 and 19, Six former players and three coaches represented Long Beach State at the Tokyo Olympics. And did you know that in 2020, student athletes' graduation rate was 91%, and that was higher than all Big West schools and D1 public universities in California, other than UC Davis. And while you were here, we've really made some progress in terms of building. A ribbon cut cutting ceremony was held recently at the Anna W. Nye Alumni Center, which opens to the public in the falls. So your timing is great. We hope to welcome you there. Student housing was increased and improved with the opening of Parkside North and the renovation of some of our hillside housing. The Shikarian Family Student Success Center was completed just as some of you were arriving and has provided a central location for so many student services and a much enhanced Bob Murphy Access Center. 
And while you were here, Cal State Long Beach has been ranked seventh in the nation for awarding bachelor's degrees to Latinx students. The beach is, the beach is number 13 nationally in awarding master's degrees to Latinx students. <clears throat> In 2021, we were ranked as the number two best master's level university in the nation. But recently, we've been promoted from a master's level to a doctoral level university. Thank you, faculty and student researchers. Cal State Long Beach was ranked in the top 10% of universities that provided the greatest return on investment, according to a number of studies. Of course, I could go on and on about student, faculty, and staff honors and recognitions earned by all of you. I share these with you to congratulate you for being part of building this great university. You all are the recipients of or the force behind these accolades. You all, like those before you, have been building a better beach for 73 years and it's been noticed by others, as we have the most undergraduate applications among the CSUs and rank about eighth nationally in applications. We've also led the CSU in the improvement of our graduation rates. So thank you, academic advisors. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing magical about a four-year graduation. I am happy for you to take your own time on your educational journey. I am not happy, however, if we've gotten in your way or ruined your personal timeline by poor advising, lack of class sections, or unmet needs that threaten graduation. No barriers means that we're always looking to be a support, not a distraction or delay. While we're not the biggest CSU, we do have the most faculty because we know both students and faculty value close mentoring relationships. We don't have the biggest physical space among CSU campuses, but we do have the most platinum and gold certified lead buildings. Thank you, Beach Building Services. We also send more doctoral students, I should say we also send more students to doctoral programs than any other CSU. Thank you, faculty members. You've all done a great job helping to build a campus where no barriers is a way of life, not just a slogan. So, as you begin your next adventures, remember we're grateful to all of you for supporting the continuous improvement of your university. Students, I pledge that your alma mater will keep innovating as a way to add value to your degrees. We also pledge to be rooted in our values that diversity is our strength. The public good is our responsibility. Teaching, learning, and discovery are central to who we are and all we do. And finally, that compassion, creativity, and innovation characterize our culture. If we can continue to live by these values, you will be proud to call us your alma mater. In the same way, we're so proud of all that you've already accomplished and all we know you will create for the world. All good wishes, all good wishes for all your next adventures, and go beach. Thank you, President Conley. I would like to now introduce Coop, Kurt Brower, president of the CSU Alumni Council. He'll make a few remarks on behalf of the Alumni Association. He received his master's degree in public administration at Long Beach State in 2000, and he is the proud parent of a President Scholar alum from the class of 2015 from a college that won't be named. Kurt has been with the city of Newport Beach for over 30 years and currently serves as senior buyer for the city, supervising the central warehouse, in addition to procuring goods and services for all 13 departments throughout Orange County Municipal Government. Please join me in welcoming Kurt Brower. Thank you, Dean Wallace. 
It is truly an honor to be here today. As a Beach alum and an alumni parent, I have a sense of what it took for all of you to get here. And I want you to know how much I admire you and your families. What you have accomplished is nothing short of extraordinary. And because it's been more than a few years since my own graduation, I can also say with some certainty that your time at the beach has shaped your future in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You don't leave the beach behind just because you're leaving campus. We're here for you, and I hope that you, in turn, will stay in touch with us and find ways to share your time, talents, and skills with the students who come after you. Now that you are all alumni, I personally invite you to stop by the just completed Anna W. Nye Alumni Center this coming fall. We will celebrate the grand opening of the center during the Founders Day ceremonies at the end of September. Graduates, as you receive your degrees today, you become part of a truly impressive group, the CSULB alumni family, which is more than 355,000 alumni strong. You now will follow in the footsteps of many alumni who have built our communities through their hard work, talent, and service. On behalf of CSULB alumni, I would like to congratulate you on this incredible accomplishment. As you move on to the next phase of your lives, I encourage you to stay connected with the beach community. I know you will find it as enjoyable and rewarding as I have. As we like to say, the beach is for life. Thank you and go beach. Thank you, President Brower. It's now my pleasure to introduce our third presidential speaker, Jesus Gonzalez, president of the CSULB Associated Students Incorporated. Jesus is a fourth year sociology major who is also minoring in political science. He's hoping to earn a master's degree in counseling with an option in school counseling. He was born in Magdalena, Mexico and arrived in the United States at the age of one as a first generation undocumented college student. <laughs> Jesus recognizes the barriers that many students face in higher education. The Education Opportunity Program and the Dream Success Center have shown him that his status is not an obstacle, but rather is an opportunity to connect with others. He has used his own personal and mentoring experiences, not only in his leadership positions and associated students, but also to lead efforts to support undocumented students. For example, he served a pre as president for undocumented empowered leaders. As ASI president, he has put the needs of students first, emphasizing educating, engaging and empowering students through advocacy and inclusion, focusing particularly on providing more resources for students of color, the LGBTQIA community, pregnant and parenting students, undocumented students, and students with differing abilities. Please join me in welcoming the president of the Associated Students Incorporated, Jesus Gonzalez. Thank you, Dean Wallace. And hello, Long Beach State, and congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Jesus Gonzalez, and I am, have the great honors and privilege to be serving as the ASI president for the 2021-2022 year. It is an honor and privilege to be serving you and to be speaking in today's commencement, celebrating your accomplishment. As a first generation AB 540 and a documented student, I came to this university to receive resources and support. I'm here in front of you today, not only as the ASI president, but as a first generation student and fellow graduate. Just weeks before my first semester, on July 28th, 2018, I received a notice from LBSU Enrollment Services that my admissions was rescinded and no longer can attend Long Beach State. It was an unexpected setback that led me to uncertainty. However, the university did not let me fall through the cracks. 
I was part of the Education Opportunity Program, also known as EOP, Summer Bridge in 2018. And through their guidance, I was able to appeal my admissions decision. Although at this time in my life, it was full of uncertainty, with the help of campus resources and the hard work, I was officially admitted back to the university on August 17, 2018. Since then, I have continued my involvement with many resources on campus, but I've also have dealt with academic hardship. Like many of you here today, I had worked hard and dedicated myself to improve the improvement of success in many colleges. At times, it was difficult to find community and completing assignments, even so now that this chapter is almost close to an end. I can confidently say that college has been the time for many of us to learn who we are and our identities, values, strength, weaknesses, and especially our careers. At one point or another at Long Beach State, we can all see that we were lost, whether it was not knowing where to park or how to get from the library to the outpost, but we grew because of it and learned to solve problems. But over time, we adapted and learned to arrive early to get the good parking spot, print out a campus map, or made advising appointments but always hold these values experience of self-exploration and trying new things close to your heart. These are the moments you have became familiar with yourself, with others and the world beyond the university walls. More than anything else, I wanna congratulate you all for completing your degree, navigating the college experience and overcoming the challenges of adult life that were thrown upon while attending LBSU. By continuing your education during the pandemic, we all have made history. We faced uncertainty, health challenges, changing mode of learning, and through it all, we found a way to persevere and be here today and be the outstanding class of 2022. We have all come far away, and I applaud you for those small successes that helped you achieve your large goals. Our college experience may have looked very different, but we can all relate that never giving up upon things that we're passionate about from long nights working on last minute assignments, finding mental health providers, to juggling school, work, and social life, we had to become strong for ourselves and those around us. No matter how long it took to graduate or what path may have looked for you, all that matters is that you did it. As you prepare life after college, always remember that you are part of the beach community and you will always have a place here with us and with ASI. So as we receive our degrees, I invite you not to think about being just a piece of eight by 10 parchment paper, but also a chapter of your narrative that tells you your college story. A story that demonstrates the challenging times, the pre professor you appreciate, your mentors, those late nights and early morning struggles, but the stress of being a first generation, first year college student. And the times that you got up too late studying with friends for that final exam. But when you reflect to these challenges, think about how you over overcome. And remember that you are endlessly capable of achieving so much more. And this degree is a starting point and a stepping stone. Now that our time in college has come close to an end, be confident that you have left your mark at the beach. No matter how big or small, your involvement at the university made it much better. During our time, I've seen the growth of financial support opportunities, expansion of academic services, and increased support of students of color. And I know that this is just the beginning for Cal State Long Beach. Let us listen and continue to uplift the beach community that we are, and be resources for the next generation of students. Let's continue to out reach out to those who are struggling, not just academically, but those facing food insecurities, homelessness, and mental health challenges. Let's work together to remove administrative barriers and empower students to succeed. Let's be present and support the One Beach family that we are and help the students to be successful. And thank you to a special to my parents. Gracias a mis padres que me han emigrado a este país desde México. Su apoyo y ambición para que yo vaya a la universidad me ha dado la fuerza para salir adelante y apoyar a mí mismo y a mi comunidad indocumentada. Este título no solo es mío, sino es de mis padres también. Esta es una oportunidad para desarrollar algún cambio para mi comunidad indocumentada y la comunidad de color. Así que gracias, and congratulations to the class of 2022. We made it, y'all. Congrats. Good evening.
evening, class of 2022. I am Deborah Thien. I'm the Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. But more importantly, like our last speaker, and like many of you, I'm a first generation to college student. In the liberal arts, we have a rich array of graduate programs that serve a vital place in the intellectual life of our college. Here are talented CSULB undergraduates study alongside state, out-of-state, and international students. They hone their disciplinary skills in preparation to contribute in local, regional, and state professional capacities. In some cases, they move on to doctoral studies. And in all cases, they bring knowledge and engaged citizenry to enrich our communities. It is my great pleasure to announce the 2022 Master's Award winners. Writing a master's thesis is a labor of love at the best of times. Each of these students wrote their award-winning thesis during two unprecedented years of lockdowns and other challenges. We are incredibly proud of their accomplishments and of our dedicated faculty who mentored them. Following announcing all three winners, I will ask them to stand together to be recognized. Julia Rose Manriquez Dowell, Geography. Julia's thesis is titled, Taking the Temperature of Climate Change in Long Beach, Concerns and Responses of Long Beach Residents Regarding Extreme Heat and Health Impacts, supervised by Dr. Gary Hittrick, Geography. Tim Trevor, History, A Circus in the Sky, Birdmen, Barnstormers, and the Era of Spectacular Aviation in the United States, 1910 to 1926, supervised by Dr. Eileen Lur, History. Caitlin Mace, Philosophy, Casting Light on the Search for Engrams, on the Reductionism Mechanism Debate supervised by Dr. Corey Wright, Philosophy. Would the winners please stand and be recognized? And audience, please join me in congratulating the 2022 Best Master's Thesis winners. <laughs> Julia, Tim, and Caitlin, congratulations. You may be seated. We would now like to recognize the 2022 Dean's List of Graduating Masters, University Scholars, and Artists. The Dean's List is limited to just 1% of the graduating class of those students pursuing a master's degree. A nominee must show evidence of truly distinguished academic achievement in their chosen field, including superior research, scholarly or creative activities, publications, academic or professional awards, and or contributions to the university and the community at large. The following eight students achieved this great distinction. After I read all their names, I will ask them to stand together and be recognized. Andrea Mayorga, Anthropology. Jessica Bullard, English. Julia Dowell, Geography. Jocelyn Aguilera, History, Kaylee Besho, Philosophy, Sean Hernandez, Philosophy, Danielle Dougal, Political Science, Emily Wasaki, Romance, German, Russian, Languages and Literatures. Would the winners please stand and be recognized? Audience, please join me in congratulating them. Thank you. Winners, you may be seated. Once again, we would like to congratulate all our award winners in their pursuit of excellence in the College of Liberal Arts Graduate Studies. And we thank all the supporters here today in Angel Stadium and all of you streaming in from near and far. Congratulations. Good evening, Beach. 
I am Dan O'Connor, Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, and it is my pleasure to announce the 2022 Outstanding Graduates in the College of Liberal Arts. We are honored to recognize our 2022 Outstanding Graduates. Today we will have three winners. Our first Outstanding Graduate in the College of Liberal Arts honor goes to Tyler Nelson from the Department of Psychology. Tyler has an impressive academic record, both in the classroom and in the lab. Under the membership mentorship of Dr. Arturo Savala, Tyler has focused on neuroscience, specifically the neurobiology of addiction. In recognition of her work, Tyler has been accepted to many competitive and prestigious research training programs. Next fall, Tyler will be joining the Interdepartmental Neuroscience PhD program at Yale University. Congratulations, Tyler. Tyler, why don't you stand up and wave? Awesome. Our next two outstanding graduates come from the College of Liberal Arts and from the Department of Political Science. Will Elise Hansen please stand? Elise Hansen has compiled an impressive undergraduate record both in her classes and in her research. She has produced a wide range of research papers that have been accepted at professional conferences. A President's Scholar and member of the Honors Program, Elise has also served as an internship ambassador. Last year, along with her teammate, Barry Klein, Elise won the Moot Court National Championship in written briefs. Yeah, let's hear that. Elise graduates from CSULB with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Next fall, Elise will be attending the Washington University in St. Louis School of Law and hope someday to work for the Justice Department. Congratulations, Elise. Our third outstanding graduate also comes from the Department of Political Science. Will Vaishali Chowdhury please stand up? Vaishali Chowdhury is an exceptional student who has been involved with many campus efforts, both as a student and as an employee. A student in the Honors Program at CSULB, Vaishali has served as the Head of Logistics and Research for the Anti-Racist Coalition at the Beach, and has worked in the College Writing Center almost since her arrival on campus. The highest accolades for Vaishali are for her work as a member of the CSULB Moot Court team, where she has compiled an impressive list of records, not the least of which was being declared this past spring, along with her partner Marco Romero, this year's national champion in oral advocacy by the American Moot Court Association. Next fall, Vaishali will be attending Harvard Law School. You may have heard of it. Would Tyler, Elise, and Vaishali please stand up to be recognized, and would the audience please join me in congratulating them?
We would now like to recognize also recipients of the 2022 College of Liberal Arts Scholarships. Please join me in congratulating, waiting for the following, and will the students please rise if they are here, and let's hold your applause until I finish the list. For the Benjamin R. Stockton Endowed Scholarship, the recipients are Amy Figueroa Orozco, Political Science. Eduardo Arredondo Lopez, Political Science. For the Phyllis A. Jung Memorial Graduate Award, the recipient is Ambar Quintanilla, English. For the Tommy Jung Memorial Scholarship, the recipients are Yadira Nunez from Psychology and Megan Schmitz from Psychology. For the Rafael Hansen Endowed Student Award, the recipient is Giselle Verdusco, Psychology. For the Sandy Salimi Cangiano Endowed Scholarship, the recipients are Diana Camarena, RGRLL, -L, Cristina Galvan, RGRLL, -L, and Emilia Sandoval, RGRLL. -L. By the way, RGRLL -L stands for Romance, German, Russian Languages and Literature. So congratulations. For the Orange County Sons and Daughters of Italy Lodge Endowed Student Award, the recipient is Samantha Garcia from RGRLL. -L. For the Robert Kapke Outstanding Student Scholarship Award, the recipient is Trina Huang, Psychology. Yeah, Trina. For the Jean R. Simonson Endowed Scholarship Award, the recipients are Bowen Deng, Economics, and Peter Villasista, Economics. For the Ray and Marge Lancaster Scholarship, the recipient is Shanna Bowie from Economics, along with Jiri Deng from Economics and Audrey Halim from Economics. And finally, for the Norma Stolzchinchia Award, the recipient is Jean-Luc Berospi Remy from the Department of Sociology. Once again, please join me in congratulating our scholarship recipients. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to my boss. Dr. Karen Sism-Gum is the University Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs. She will join us now to present our master's candidate to the presidents for degree conferral. Uh, thank you, Dean Wallace. Good evening, Beach family and friends. At this time, will the candidates from the class of 2022 master's degrees please stand if you're able. <laughs> President Connolly. These candidates have satisfactorily completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. Candidates, please remain standing. You have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and by your Dean and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate master's degree with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. I want to take a minute to, to say something that's not planned, something that's not in my script. 
as I have sat here and looked out into the faces of all of you graduates today, I am just moved. I see the wonderful things that you're going to do in your career and your lives, and I find myself just very, very proud to be your dean. And as I look up in the stands, at all of the family and friends, the mothers, the fathers, the abuelas, the abuelos, the tios, the aunties, all the friends who have come to support you today, I want to say to all of you, thank you for supporting our graduates. We know that it's hard. We know that for many of you it's a financial sacrifice and their success is also your success and we salute you. Now, will all of the candidates for the 22 Bachelor of Arts please, if you're able to do so, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> President Conley, these candidates have successfully completed all the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. You have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, by your Dean, and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate bachelor's degree with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Baccalaureate graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. This signifies the completion of your undergraduate degree. <laughs> Congratulations. You may be seated. Before we close, we have important acknowledgments for those who've made this ceremony possible. Sign language interpreters of today's ceremony were provided by Siri Connor and Lena Serrano of the Bob Murphy Access Center. I would also like to thank our conductor, Professor Robert Freer, and the CSU Brass Choir, composed of advanced brass students in the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. We are extremely grateful to the staff and leadership here at Angel Stadium for working with us to make this celebration possible. And of course, we thank the university commencement team who worked long and hard to make this ceremony materialize. Please join me in giving all of these people a round of applause. Will the audience please remain seated until the recessional has been completed. Thank you for being with us on this special occasion and let the recessional begin. <laughs>